Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about collect as state and collect as state with lifecycle. And also we will see the difference between these two. But before demonstration, I would like to show you the previous example, which we have seen already. And then we will do some modification on that code to understand both of this concept. In this example, we are having main activity. And the second one is the test view model. Inside test view model, we are having one flow builder, which is emitting a new value every two seconds. And as this flow builder is a cold flow, we are converting this to hot flow using dot state in operator. And also this flow can survive the configuration change. For that reason, we are passing five seconds as a parameter inside while subscribed. So this block of code is acting like a producer. So now we have to consume this flow inside our consumer. So our main activity is acting like a consumer and we are collecting that flow using dot collect terminal operator. Okay. So every two seconds, one new value will get emitted that will get reflected on the UI. And also we will log new emitted value to our log cat. Now, first what I will do, I will remove the unwanted code, which is not required. I will do the code cleaning and inside my test view model, I will remove this log to avoid any confusion. Perfect. Now, instead of collecting the flow using dot collect, we will collect the flow using dot collect as state. Now we can replace this collect with collect as state and also we can remove this opening and closing braces from the code. Now we can see our compiler is still complaining and after going through the definition we can see clearly that collect as state is a composable type and to execute a composable type context of composable is required. What does that mean? So if we will see this uh, launch doesn't have the context of at the rate composable okay now when we see the definition of set content you can see the set content is having a context of at the rate composable so what we can do we can cut this part of code and we can paste it inside set content perfect now uh, we don't want to pass any initial value so i will delete that and after deleting it uh, i can see still compiler is complaining so it is saying that no value passed for parameter initial, but I don't want to pass that value. Let's go to the definition of my flow. What I will do to fix that problem, I will remove this return type from the definition of my flow. Okay. Now I will go inside main activity. I can see that issue has been fixed and I will take this value inside variable state. And I will fetch that value using state dot value. Furthermore, let's move this log statement inside set content method. And instead of it, let's write state dot value. Also, we don't need this coroutine scope now. So let's delete this one as well. And let's do quick code cleaning. Now our code looks better. Let's run the program to see the behavior. So after looking over the locket, I can see value collection has been started 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. So let's push our application to background. And when I pushed my application to background, I can see the last value which has been collected is 5. Okay, this is the number which has been collected. Now let's bring our application again to foreground. So when I bring my application to foreground, I can see collection is started from 11. Okay. So during this time, when I pushed my application to background and when I bought my application again to foreground during this tenure, few of the value has not been collected like six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, which clearly states that when we push our application to background, there is a vestige of resource. And that was the problem with collect as state. So to deal with this problem, collect as state with lifecycle comes into the picture. So to use collect as a state with lifecycle, first we have to add the dependency inside build.gradle file, which is lifecycle runtime compose. Let's sync our build.gradle file and we will go to our main activity. Now, instead of using collect as a state, let's use collect as state with lifecycle. Let's run the code to see the behavior. Now we can see flow collection has been started. We have collected zero, one, two, and so on. 
let's push our application to background again now when i push my application to background the last value which has been emitted is 4 let again bring our application to foreground the moment i bring my application to foreground again we can see the flow is started again one two three four it so it means that now we are not wasting our resource and also now our flow is lifecycle aware also under the hood collect as state with lifecycle is using repeat on lifecycle which is recommended way to collect the flow in android so as we are already using this repeat on lifecycle inside this collect as state with lifecycle i will remove this line of code as well let's format this quickly perfect also just to make your code more concise what we can do instead of equal to what we can write by okay now the compiler is complaining let's import this extension function and now to access the value we have to direct use state perfect so after running the code we can see the flow is getting collected 0 1 2 3 and so on let's push our application to background now the last value which has been collected is 5 again when we bring our application to foreground the flow collection get restarted from 1 so what is the conclusion conclusion is collect as state with lifecycle is lifecycle aware and also it uses a repeat on lifecycle api under the hood with that i believe now you are having pretty good understanding of collect as state and collect as state with lifecycle i also wanted to bring couple of things to your notice so in, if i go to test view model inside test view model you can see i am converting this cold flow to hot using a state in operator and when we use dot state in operator or dot share in operator always ensure that you are assigning those value to a variable to a property so this where my flow is a property we can also write the same things using a function so instead of assigning that value to a property we can assign this value to a function but what is the difference between these two there is major difference between these two so when i assign this value to a property that value get shared okay that that value get reused but in this case when i am assigning the value to a function then it will create a new shared flow or a state flow per invocation which is not reused okay what does that mean let's try to understand this so if i go to main activity now instead of calling that my flow property let's call my flow function okay let's run this code so here you can see collected value 0 1 2 1 Two one. So again, you can see two one two one two one. Every time two one two one two one is getting collected. So now our flow is not working as per our expectation. So for that reason, always ensure that you are using a property, not a function. Perfect. Now there is one more thing which I wanted to bring to your notice. So let's first uh, comment this line of code as we are not using it. So let's delete this you might remember in our previous video how stop timeout plays very important role when there is any kind of configuration change in our application along with that this timeout play important role when we push our application to background and again when we bring our application to foreground what does that mean so for example when i run the program and let's go to the log cat. So here you can see values getting emitted two, three, four, and so on. When I push the application in background, and again, when I will bring the application to foreground within five seconds, we will not lose this state. So let's see. So we have pushed it, and then again, we brought it into the foreground. So you can see we are not losing any state six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And what happened? if we will keep our application for more than five seconds if we will keep our application in the background for more than five seconds then in that case our 
flow will get restarted. Let's see the behavior. So you can see now the collection is started again from one. So now I believe you know how this five second play very important role while configuration change and also when we put our application to the background and when we try to bring to the foreground within five seconds of tenure. So with that, I will finish this video. And in this video, we have seen the difference between collect as state and collect as state with lifecycle. Also, we have seen the behavior of share in and state in when we use a property and while using a function. And at last, we saw how while subscribed timeout millis play very important role when we do any kind of configuration change or when we bring our application to background to background and then to the foreground within five seconds. Hope you enjoyed all of this learning. Stay tuned on my channel for the next video. Thank you so much.